Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the ProBoat Miss Geico 17 from Horizon Hobby. Uh, now this is an actual scale model of a, you know, there's a real life Miss Geico uh, speedboat and it looks really, really cool. Just an awesome design, catamaran style, uh, really bright fluorescent green paint job. Just a really cool boat, both, you know, the RC and in real life. Um, however, this RC version doesn't quite live up to the name, I think. Um, it's just a brushed motor and it only has a nickel metal hydride battery. It is a 1200 milliamp hour battery, by the way. Um, but so, you know, with a nickel metal hydride battery and a brushed motor, it's just not very fast at all. Uh, I mean, quite disappointingly slow, actually. Um, especially for the you know for the name and the look of it um, just kind of inexcusably slow I think even just putting a lipo battery in this even with the brushed motor still would have made it uh, much more you know decently acceptably fast maybe like that uh, FT009 boat that I reviewed um, so I don't know if this has lipo ready electronics in it or not uh, but if you could get a lipo in there, that would probably make it, you know, enjoyably fast. But the way it comes out of the box is pretty boring. Um, you know, I guess maybe if you had a smaller pond or something, it would be, you know, better to have it a little bit slower just because it's a little easier to manage. Um, but, you know, speed, speed is always a good thing with something like this. You know, the more speed, the better. And especially since the transmitter does have dual rates on it, so you could... You could dial it down for smaller areas if you wanted to. Um, so really, there's not a, any good way to to make the speed sound okay. It's just pretty disappointingly slow. Uh, but while I've got it out, this is the transmitter, and you've also got steering and throttle trim up there. Um, it comes with a wall charger here. Um, however, I had some problems with it. It seemed to keep cutting off after about 20 minutes for me, and it's a two amp charger, and so for a, a 1200 milliamp hour battery, that I think that should take, I, I don't know, maybe 30 to 45 minutes at least. So it didn't seem like this was quite working for me, so I didn't really trust it, and I did most of my charging uh, with my hobby grade charger. So uh, not exactly sure on stock charger charging times, but again, like 30 to 45 minutes maybe. Um, with the 1200 milliamp hour battery, you get about maybe six minute run times. Kind of hard to judge run times because it all depends on, you know, if you're going wide open or not. Um, but six is about a good average. And then they do sell a bigger 1750, 1750 milliamp hour battery. And that you get about maybe an eight minute run time. So, you know, nice uh, bigger run time with that. So that that's a pretty decent combination you know with the long run time but still a little bit slow but you know it is fun to kind of just cruise this thing around for eight minutes and it's really stable in the water I mean with having this uh, catamaran design and I think this the way these you know bottom here kind of fins like that I think that helps sort of keep it you know down in the back down in the water and just sort of cruises along really solid like that um, you just got a rudder in the back, there's no fins or anything, no tabs or anything, but it seemed to just naturally stay really stable and it turns well to both directions, so no problem there. Um, the rudder does like angle up like that, so if you were to you know, brush it against something, it'll actually get out of the way instead of breaking off or anything, so I thought that was a pretty nice little feature. And it is water cooled, so you've got a water intake here that comes out or goes through through the motor and then comes out the side here in a little tab. Um, the compartment here is just magnet closed so you've just got to kind of pull on the back and then in the front there's a, a little tab that plugs in there. Let me get it out of the way here. Hang on a second. This tab in the front really bothers me. You've just got this tiny little pin here I mean it just looks like it's begging to break off so I mean you, you've got to be really careful putting that thing in and out it is just 
super skinny little, I don't know if it's wood or carbon fiber or metal or whatever it is, but it's that just always worries me that that's going to break off. But anyway, here's what the uh, battery compartment looks like or the inside. So you've got Velcro on the battery and it just sort of sticks in the center there. There's no straps or anything to hold it down, but again, this thing's going too slow to throw the battery around. Uh, you'll see all the water cooling wrapping around the motor, and it is a 380 size motor, I believe, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, and then you've got your ESC and stuff in the back here. There is an on-off switch back here. Get that to light up. So back in the corner so you can you know, get your battery plugged in and everything and then flip your on off switch. And then there's, you know, still plenty of room for the bigger battery in there, no problem. And it's plenty far enough away from the rudder, rudder servo, it's not gonna block anything. So no problem getting the bigger battery in there. Um, this little antenna housing does pull off for when you store it in the box. So you gotta make sure to put that on each time um, mostly too because it's you know there's it's an opening in the body so you want to use this antenna cover to seal that so no water leaks through into that uh, let's see is there anything else to say about this one um, no I guess that's really about it so you know like I said it's it's a little bit slow, but it looks really nice and it's really stable in the water. So, I mean, it is still kind of fun to drive it around, but, uh, you know, for the Miss Geico name and for how cool it looks, it's just a little bit on the disappointing side. Uh, but anyway, let's go check out some run footage. All right, this is the run review of the Pro Boat Miss Geico. I'll give her a little spin. Try to avoid the weeds here and not fall in the lake. There we go. Uh, get past all this. There we go. There's full speed. <laughs> Not too fast. But it sure does look good. That's full speed. Super stable though, man. This thing is solid as a rock. Just slow. Looks good. Oh, get hung up on some weeds there. Yeah, I think I'm dragging some weeds. Dang it. Tried to make a close pass. And... Oh, God. Oh, I can't bend over that far. That's too slippery. There we go. Here, can you hold that for me? Yeah, I got some weeds hung up in the shaft there. Yeah, we got a little overgrowth in our little pond here, making it hard to get some clearance. Let's try that. Oh gosh. There we go. Yeah, it sure does look good. It's just a little slow. Nice sharp turns of both directions. All right, uh, I think that was really about all there is to show. Let's see if I can, there we go. Didn't fall in the lake. Well, that was that. Ooh, That's the uh, the Pro Boat Miss Geico. A little bit slow, but it sure does look cool and it's very, very solid in the water. You don't have to worry about flipping this thing over, but it probably could uh, do from having a LiPo battery or a little bit faster maybe with that. But. 
Anyway, if you're interested, check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.